Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Talk Virgin to Me. I am super excited to have this next guest because um, it's the first time you're really kind of meeting her. Although if you follow me on social media, you saw her all last week because she was on the cruise with us. This is my brand new fabulous assistant, Ariana. Hi. Thanks for joining us. I know we did have sound effects at some point. Oh, my gosh. Yes. (laughs) Yes, Hilarious. Whenever I introduce people, it should be like, ah. A whole crowd. Yeah. yeah. It'd be hysterical. <laughs> so we should just clap everybody in. Or we should have like a whole entry where we like dance in and clap in every yes. time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I love totally it. Change it up and make it a whole production now. <laughs> but you know, so Ariana is actually turned into um, the new Galman. Uh, so I haven't actually given her a name yet because we have to really, I feel like, let Galman die with Josh. <laughs> yes. So you need a new name. But I don't know what it is. And obviously, I feel like Galman is like so, um, everyone knows who Galman is. Is. Do you even know who Kelly? No. Is? Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that you don't know. Okay, so Kelly, Kelly Rippa, Re- Regis and Kelly. So back in the day okay. when it was Regis and Kelly, right? Um, sh- they well, he's always actually been the producer. I don't know what his real true job title was, but he was the producer of the show. Well, they would like obviously be talking to the camera, and they'd start talking to this guy, and his name was Gelman. And they'd be like, oh. "Well, Gelman, what do you think?" Oh, oh, oh. Like, and they would be like really goofy about it, right? And so Gelman would talk, but they would never show him. So then, as it went on and it kept going on and on, they ended up, you know, now people are like, "Who is this Gelman?" So they'd show him. So, anyways, so I'd call Josh Gelman, <laughs> but Gelman has been like, I don't even know what the guy's first name is. I'm assuming it's his last name. I don't even know. It could be his first name. That's but so funny. Yeah. So, anyways, he they do like a big face reveal. I, I don't know if they did. To be honest. I I didn't even watch it that much, but I, of course I knew that part because I feel like it was always a thing. Yeah. So maybe we don't need a name, but I do think that a lot of people relate to the Galman thing. Somebody oh, was funny. telling me that I should call, um, I want to say that it was who, um, David Letterman had a someone, somebody else too. And David Letterman's also from the nineties ish. I mean, listen, Kelly Ripa still has that show. I mean, I feel like it's been on for like 50,000 years. Oh is my what gosh, it feels I know. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, and he's still, from what I remember, and honestly, I haven't watched it in forever. He's still the uh, the producer. So, anyways, Gelman, that's what that's what he is. He's the, the you know the guy that stands in the background to make sure that they keep going, they keep doing yeah. all the things, and that's what I was calling Josh. That's where I usually am. Yeah. I'm behind there. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, wow, that's a long introduction for who she is. <laughs> but uh, she is my new fabulous assistant, as I mentioned, and she just went on what your very. Very first cruise, very first virgin, everything. I'm no <laughs> longer a virgin first. virgin. Yep. <laughs> virgin, virgin, virgin cruiser. She's all yep. virgins. <laughs> all in one. No, that's awesome. So I wanted to just kind of introduce, uh, interview her just a little bit. Obviously, she might be a little biased. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out how she, <laughs> how she answers the questions, whether or not she's a little biased or not. But I just wanted to get her take, obviously, on what it was like being a first time cruiser. I do think we kind of talked about this yesterday when we talked about getting you on. We talked about saying how it, you it might be a different experience, like from what an what a, I don't want to say a normal, but like a, an average cruiser would experience because of the fact that she went with me. And oh Kelly. yes, <laughs> it was a little different. <laughs> I will say we were, we were we get treated nicely, and uh, you know we had a few perks, so that's always nice. But anyways, um, so what were your thoughts before, like? Tell me this. Do you think, I mean, obviously you had a vision and you knew kind of a little bit about what Virgin was like before, but like, do you think they matched the, the, the expectation? Was it the same? I guess is what I'm trying to say. I think so. I okay, mean, I, I, maybe I was getting the built up that it would be a little more wild. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Like it is yeah. a good party and fun vibe, but it wasn't as crazy, which in a good way, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, saying yeah. like, it's not something where you're like, Oh, like. I don't know, 18 plus might mean like a certain type of thing. Yeah. And I really like that. It was the perfect amount. It was, right? Yeah. I always say that. I'm so glad that you said that because I do say that to people because obviously one of the questions that we get asked the most is, you know, is this, well, first of all, is it a swingers cruise? Which I don't know if that was on your mind, but (laughs) obviously, you know, is it a swingers cruise? Is it, is it like party central? And, and I was like, it's not like, it really is what you make of it. Exactly. Which is why I love it. Cause you know, we took Kelly and I talk about having a relaxing cruise every now and then. We do a nice mix, but we should probably really ask Ariana what she thinks about how Kelly and I cruise. <laughs> We're going to hear the real story. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So then tell me, did you like, 
Did you like look at videos? Because honestly, I've never asked her any of this. So know that everything that I'm asking her right now, I never, I've never asked her. So I don't even know the answers to it. So like, did you watch videos or what, you know, before you got on board? Because I think I'm, I remember you might have mentioned that you did. I, I started getting ads. That was really the only thing yeah. that I've watched. I yeah. didn't look up. The only thing I looked up was like a cabin review just oh, to know okay. what was in the cabin yeah. and, and kind of get an expectation for that. Yeah. Um, but no, not All for right. like, well, that's good yeah. All right. Well, that's good to know. Cause I was like, I was wondering if she was like, oh, it was not like that on my cruise <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, oh God, it was like that on my cruise. No, yeah, no. Um, well, that's cool. That's good to know. And then, so you'd never cruised before. So what did you expect the cabin to like, look like? I didn't know how, tiny b- yes, like, yeah. I did. I expected it to be smaller than what it is. I feel like it was just like a small hotel room. It was, it wasn't as small as I thought it was going to be like literally just like a bed in a box. Yeah. In a box. <laughs> like there was a desk, you know, there's yeah. another chair to sit on. Um, <laughs> that's, a bed in a box. <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you know what's funny though i have to tell you they have told me um like when we talk about the ship itself they say that those rooms are like boxes that they're like these oh gosh it's hard to explain there's actually a name for it i can't think of the name of it but they're basically you can just lift them up and out like there are these rooms that you could just oh really yeah like they're that simple i had i was like what no but yeah apparently that's what it is because scarlet's getting a little makeover if you hadn't heard, there's a little little something special happening to her. Oh. Um, yeah, a little something special. So Exciting. very easy to remove rooms, apparently. Interesting. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so anyways, keep going. Sorry. So yeah, bed in a box. Yes. I really was having fun with the different themes for the room with yeah. the lighting. Oh my gosh. That's like my favorite. <laughs> yes. I love that you played with that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that you played with that. That was good. And I love that every, sorry. No, no. I love that everything was controlled on that little mm-hmm tablet yeah yeah i know i want to call it an ipad too and I, it's a tablet. <laughs> I think samsung makes it i don't really even know who makes it but it's not ipad it's not i it's not apple i should say yeah, but um nice. no i think that's a cool thing too i always forget about it now that we're so used to it my favorite one did you play let's get it on yes oh my god it's my favorite <laughs> one because of the song the music when it's like bear, bear, yeah. bear, bear. Like, it's hilarious, and you're like, wait, what? And you don't even know where the music's coming from. It's like, it's like coming down from the heavens. It's like, bam, 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 bam. and you're like, wait, what's happening to me? Is there, is there hot men going to come right walking in right now? Like, what's happening? <laughs> it's the greatest thing. And the lights turn down. And, and the, the curtains. So I didn't know that the curtains shut by themselves. So oh. when when I was going through the settings, I was like, what was that noise? And I, it was oh the curtains gosh, opening so and closing. I had no room. idea. And it's not a hot man. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it come from? It's just kidding. Curtains. No, that, no, yeah, that's awesome. That was no, really that's cool. funny that you played with that. I love that because we didn't even mention it to you. We just told you that everything was on the app. So she got again. See, most people don't get uh, a tour of their room. Granted, it's a bed in the box. So <laughs> you don't. She didn't get like you know. She got a full tour. Like we were like, and here's where this is. And you open this up, and this is. You put your suitcase under here. Like I mean, we basically, there's a lot in there. Yeah, yeah. we basically mm. told you like literally everything. And we're like, and here's your bathroom. I mean, okay, we're walking around a box, like she said. I mean, there's nowhere to go. But we literally totally, you know, showed you everything. So mm-hmm. not everyone gets that. So it was funny. But we did not show you the bear, 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 bear. Yeah. Which I'm glad that you found it. It's cool. It's my favorite. And then I love yeah. the photo shoot. Like yes. what she's basically explaining, if you've never seen it, it's your first time on board, is that on there there's different settings for the room. And there's photo shoot hungover or maybe it's just yes. hangover i don't even i don't know what the actual word is and the lighting changes it's almost like there's led lighting around the top of the room and that color changes based on what you press and so if you press photo shoot all of the windows open all the lights turn on so you can have like the best lighting ever for your photo shoot and then um Gosh, what are the there? Ones? There was like Zen. Oh, Zen. That's right. And yeah. then there was a like a pumped up. Um, oh yeah, pumped up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm. which you feel like it would be like photo shoot. Yeah, I don't yeah. <laughs> I don't know what pumped up is. <laughs> Get working out in there. Yeah, I don't know where you're working out in the box. <laughs> <laughs> It's really not that bad where I'm just giving her a hard time. It's a good room. I, I love the room. Uh, th- what did you think about the bathroom? Like, honestly, it was just so you were so low. So I yeah, what your opinion is obviously. So the bathroom itself, I don't think was bad. I think oh, just right. we talked about this. the shower. Yeah. Maybe where the shower head is. I don't know. Something. <laughs> so it is a rain shower in the shower. So Which I love the shower head yes. itself. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You could stand there and it just, just all over and you're like, yeah. But yeah, no, I do love that. But then, so keep going. Sorry. 
Yeah. The positioning, you feel like you're right next to the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or not even right next to the door. Honestly, the shower is just small. And yeah. that's what we talked about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can say it, it's fine. I don't know that I've ever mentioned I've only mentioned it once or twice. I try not to say too many things of like, oh, this is terrible. But it's funny. When I was on, so I was on a panel. Um, Virgin Voyage just does this crew check in, like it, maybe once a quarter, once a month. I don't, I don't really know what the timing is of it. But they invited me on this panel in front of all of their crew. I had to go. I got to go on stage. Oh. It was May first. It was the day that they launched Brilliant Lady, um, and announced Brilliant Lady's launch, basically. And I got to go on stage on uh, the Red Room stage with a couple of other people. And I, there was a um, John Dior actually interviewed me and two other people. Yeah, it was really very it was a cool. cool yeah. yeah. So one of the things they asked us is what would you change if you could change anything what would you change and of course i said the bathroom <laughs> that was my answer so it's yeah. funny that you say that and i i mean obviously the bathroom and the in the uh rock stars are great they're perfect which we should i should have showed you we didn't have a rock star that time so we, we both have uh central sea terraces but um i should have showed you while we were on board but there's plenty of time for that but anyways the bathroom just that's what i said i said i'd change the bathroom because it's just tiny yeah and it's hard so as a solo i'm sure you're totally fine because i've mm-hmm. sailed solo before and it was totally fine yeah but um with two people in there it gets a little crazy i mean kelly and i are used to each other obviously my husband and i are used to each other but it does get a little a little tight in there i could definitely see uh, that <laughs> yeah and then the shower like she was saying so we did have a discussion i remember this now we did have a discussion about the shower and saying that it's so it's like a tube which a shower so it's like a tube but like where everything is sometimes you feel like you're gonna hit your elbows yes. like you're like trying shaving. to wash your hair and shaving <laughs> yeah. like where do you put your foot they're like ah like yeah it was it's yeah. definitely it's um definitely a challenge of some of sorts so you know it's kind of like twister i feel like the shower is like twister you're like oh it's a little oh, game it's working <laughs> yeah oh no i'm not co- okay I, I don't know this isn't good just get it done get yeah. her done get in get it out but i think the shower head makes up for it to be honest like because yeah. oh, you yeah. just you still love being in there oh my yeah. gosh yeah you can just totally it's great and i've never liked so as i've gotten older and more mature which i don't know that that's really the case i gotta be honest as i've gotten older and more mature i feel like i like a rain head more now than yes. i did like before i would have been like oh i'm not doing that just because of the water all over your face and yeah blah. but now i love it it's like super relaxing if like, you're not trying to get your hair wet it, oh then you're in trouble <laughs> yeah, that's it's the only over. downside forget about it you're getting in the shower the hair is getting wet it's done yeah. you can put it up if you want i mean you can put it in a shower cap shower yeah cap, and that'll save you but other than that there is no there is no space to hide in the corner yeah. like you're not you're not like okay i'm just gonna wash this part of my yeah, body no. or this part of my body and can't save get just my get head. your feet like yeah. nope <laughs> oh, that's not happening yeah. <laughs> you are getting wet so bring your shower cap that's a good point yeah <laughs> wow we just went down a whole shower thing you've now pictured ariana and i in the shower and how we shower on virgin voyages it's not pretty so we just not give you a pretty sight so there you have it uh, anyways so back oh, to the, the cabin yes. um i love that you played with the um the settings that's great did you watch any tv whatsoever like i, don't I know. did we were exhausted obviously by the time i was throwing friends on i okay, was just a go-to <laughs> yep and then they had some I, I love comedy movies so oh. yeah i watched daddy's home and there was another one that i threw on and i love that they had a cinema setting yep. for for mm-hmm. when you're oh, watching right. movies the lights room. automatically turn down yeah yeah that was nice i know it's super cool right? <laughs> you don't have to get up <laughs> you can just stay in your bed and control everything from the bed it's amazing that's that the nicest part right you're like hey, this is nice can you just bring the toilet yeah then i'm good i don't have to go anywhere um uh, because you can also order food from the bed yeah which yeah, is nice. yeah 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 totally yeah. order food turn the air down and up yeah it's good it's good um but yeah no it's funny the tv we don't talk about it too much but the tv actually it's one of the best at sea in my opinion uh the offerings um there are so there's so much tv to watch so if yeah. you are stuck in your cabin or literally just don't want to leave your cabin because there's a thing called herkel durkle if you ever heard of it apparently the um polish is that who made it i can't remember no shoot i'm oh, totally funny. not giving the right credit but there is a there's a word called herkle durkle as a word or two words <laughs> where apparently you stay in bed and you just chill in bed and like in the morning you don't get out of bed you're just chilling and loving every second of it and it's called herkle durkling oh so we gosh. use it amongst our friends and we giggle <laughs> each uh, we giggle with each other we're like um are you herkle durkling today like even on vacation That's so we'll funny. like write each other and be like we haven't seen you. Are you Herkel Durkling? <laughs> We've turned into a verb now. I don't really know if it's even a verb. But uh, it is basically that you're staying in bed and just chilling. You could be reading. You could be working. You could be. But you're not getting out of bed. 
That's what's oh happening. my gosh, what a cute name! I know, Herkel Durkle, <laughs> yeah. right? Pretty sure I'm saying it right. Oh god, somebody get me! I'm totally saying it wrong. Um, but anyways, we do have a funny uh, joke amongst our friends talking about that. But with that being said, back to the TV, you can watch whatever you want. And I think it does lend to the fact that if you don't want to get out of bed and just enjoy your vacation for as long as you want in bed, uh, it there's so many great movies that you could totally just watch. I mean, from new to like old. Yeah. Even, like, they had some pretty new movies that yeah, were released within the past few months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was really, I love that about it. And that's like, I can't even tell you, I was on MSC last week and I just got off a couple of days ago and Annabelle and I like to watch TV to go to sleep. Right. So I turned TV on and I go, so what do you want to watch in these seven channels? <laughs> I was like, it was like, like CNN or MSNBC. Which oh. ones do you want? To, I mean, it's like all the news. It's all news. Like, I mean, I was like, which one do you want to watch? But they ended up having like a couple um, HGTV, I think, and travel, travel channel or something, whatever. But honestly, usually, I mean, Royal, I think is the worst. I think they have BBC. They have some oh. weird movie <laughs> like, channel. Yes. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, the Royal has, like, the worst. And then buy pay for movies. So the thing with Virgin is you don't have to pay for any of those movies. They're all included. And I'm telling you, it's like a whole library. Yeah. Um, so you're not getting out of bed if that's your thing. It's great. <laughs> I mean, not that you want to go on a cruise and just get out of bed. But listen, you do you. It's your vacation. <laughs> lay in bed if you want to lay in bed. <laughs> yep. Have at it. Enjoy the waves and lay in bed. I don't know. My actual favorite thing sometimes when I finally decide to relax is to open the door when it's not 10,000 degrees outside, mm-hmm. listen to the waves outside and just chill in bed. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. I did, love just going on the terrace. I was just going to yeah. say, did you enjoy Did you go on the hammock I, at all? Because I kept you busy. So I that. went. <laughs> she did. So well, there wasn't much time in the cabin yeah, really yeah, at all. Yeah. All this cabin talk that we're having, really, I don't know why, because she wasn't in the cabin that much. She maybe saw it at mm, two in the morning and then got back up at like eight. <laughs> exactly. <I don't> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I had the egg chair. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. We should talk about that. You had the egg chair. Yeah. So that was fun. But I did go in your hammock a little bit as well. Um, Pros for both of them. I mean, Mm -hmm. the egg chair, I feel like you can, I don't know, like sit up a little bit more where the Mm -hmm. hammock you lay down. So could you see out? I didn't even think about that. Could you see out over? Because so she had the metal balcony with the egg chair and then they they gave them in that balcony. Um. The high top. They give you a high top with high top chairs so you can see over the balcony, which mm-hmm. I think is a really cool because a lot of cruise lines will do that. They're like, here's your normal chairs that you can't see. So you're staring at the wall. Yeah. But um, when you were in the egg chair, could you did you notice if you could see over? You can. Yeah, I think um, n- probably not as well. Not yeah. Sure, but the yeah. other the high chair, I mean, it was pretty yeah, it was comfortable as well. And you yeah. could sit on that with a table there with a drink and yeah. just watch. I thought outside. that was cool that they did. Yeah. I actually took a picture of it. We should probably try and put it in the podcast. That'll be a whole new thing that she hasn't done yet is add <laughs> pictures to the podcast. <laughs> That's a whole new thing. And we're talking about something. Yeah, it'll yeah. just pop up. It should just pop here, right here. up right here. <laughs> yeah. um, anyways, so, uh, well, that's cool. I forgot that you had the egg chair because obviously I only went in a room once, showed her around, and then off we went. And then there's a lot of alcohol between that and us leaving. And I totally forgot about the egg chair. Yeah. So, yeah. It makes cute photos, too. Does so, it? Yeah. Oh, good. I got a cute photo. Oh, you did. Oh, I love that. Now I want to see it. You should have posted it. Yeah. Um, you probably did, and I didn't even see it. <laughs> I did. You did? Dang it. <laughs> do I follow you, or do you follow me? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should follow you at this point. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, um, God. So, anyway. So, yeah. The egg chair. Well, that's crazy, but I love that. Yeah. Your oh. room was super in the front. We had, like, the best weather, though. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's what everybody was saying, that I got really lucky. Yeah. Especially I mean, for the first she's going to go on a lot more cruises, so we'll have to have a report back on, you know, the fact that she had the best weather on her first cruise ever. Like, literally, like, it was glass at one point. We looked out, we were like, <laughs> it's all glass out there. Like, yeah. it was crazy. To see the ocean like that, to me, always mesmerizes me and, like, puts me into this, like, what? How is that even possible? Because you just never, ever see an ocean like that. It's very rare. But, I mean, it happens, I said, I mentioned, it happens a lot in the summer. As long as, you know, there's not a hurricane and the brewing <laughs> out there. But uh, it happens in the summer that... You see that way more than in the winter. I didn't see that all winter. Yeah. So, yeah. so but no, yeah, you got no motion weather. sickness. Yeah. yeah. And she was way in the front and she didn't even feel anything because it was, you know, she had, we had great weather. So can't yeah. ask her about that. <laughs> um, all right. So tell me the onboarding process was different because we had issues. Well, not you, but uh, Kelly and I had issues. So we won't go there. But how was your onboarding process? <laughs> it really wasn't bad. It reminded me similar to an airline. Yeah. 
very similar to that. It was quick though, right? Like yeah. And she went at two, so they actually brought her over. Um, we went through. We had to go through VIP, and so um, they brought her over to uh, the the term the regular term area. And it was quick. Like, Mm -hmm. I mean, you were up there. You're like, I'm already up there. And I'm like, all right, we can't come out to you, but I'll see you on board. So, yeah. Yeah, they have it pretty organized. I think so, too. Did you have to wait in any line whatsoever when you went over there? No. I didn't think so. Just Yeah, the security went right in. Good. I mean, there were a few people, but it went really quick. Yeah. (laughs) So. You know what always kills me about that is that people are so mesmerized. Like, they're like, or like, um, befuddled, I guess is the word I want to look for. And I'm like, it's the same as security at airport yeah get your stuff in your bag and stick it in the thing but they're like, oh, they're like, they're like, they're like get it together and i'm like what is happening how do you not know this by now yes. I'm like, oh my god and me with my like i'm so impatient like i'm like this oh my god you probably just did this to get here put your stuff in your bag shove it in the thing and they're like oh like you could they're like totally thrown off it's the funniest thing so it's actually it's better coming. i feel like because you don't have to take off your shoes yes that, yeah, that part's so, easier yeah <laughs> there's no shoes taking off you don't have to empty your lap top you just stick exactly. everything in your bag yeah. like just take it take it off get ready it's coming know that it's coming stick it in your bag stick it in there go through the thing and it happens every time you know it's another thing that we never really talk about is that it does happen every time you get on and off the ship not off i should say um every time you get back on the ship you have to do it again so and you cannot bring seashells on i don't know how many times i have to say that oh i did not know that yeah there's signs you cannot bring seashells and they they'll confiscate that stuff why they're, they're trying to preserve the marine, oh okay i guess I don't know. Whatever it does for the Marine, I don't know. They want to keep it that way. Beats me. Well, I got nothing. But yeah, so they'll <laughs> see. But there's funny because you'll, you didn't, I, I didn't see it this time actually when we got back on board in Bimini. Usually there's a big bin where have all these shells and they probably just throw them overboard before they leave. I'm assuming. I really don't know. I've never seen them do it, but I'm assuming that's what they do. Yeah. But they do take them. So don't bring them back. Then you're holding up the line. And then those people are standing in the heat like me, sweating, and I'm dying a thousand degrees, and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm like, can I just get on board? What's happening? Oh, you brought a shell. Fantastic. <laughs> you can't take it. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, yeah. So know that so that, you oh, don't, so that you don't think that, you know, you're so excited to bring these shells home to your collection, and they steal them from you. Oh. So, <laughs> I, I do feel take bad. a picture. Yeah, take a picture of it. I do feel bad about that, though, <laughs> that they don't let you because, I mean, it's a shell. It's already dead at that point, I'm assuming. Right. So, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, you went through security. It was easy. Good. Um, then we met you. We were <laughs> still handling stuff because we were we had quite the issue. So, she met us downstairs. And then from there, I think we went to your room, right? And then we mm-hmm. just started the crew. We went to your cruise. Uh, or started the cruise. We went to your room. And then did we eat? We went to eat, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We went to eat. We were all starving. Yes. But then this, this when I'm starving, it's th- just eat everything in sight. So we're on deck seven. <laughs> <laughs> we're on deck seven and we're going through the grounds club. And I was like, ooh, cookies. So we stopped for cookies. Then we stop at popcorn. And then we decide that it's time for a shock to put all ready or something. I don't even remember what we did. Oh, no. We said, let's go to the loose cannon. Yes. So we veer off with our popcorn and our cookies and we veer <laughs> off to the loose cannon and we order drinks there, and then we realize now nah, we need real food because yep. now all we've had is popcorn, and we've Cookies. had a couple sips of alcohol. <laughs> and we're like, that's going down real fast, and I'm already loopy. So we were yep. like, yep, got to eat some real food. So then I say, I say, smart, because at this point I, I'm already feeling loopy. I was like, I'm going to go get us food. So she goes, didn't you say you come with me, I think? Or no, yeah. did you stay? So she's like, I'll go with you. We leave Kelly and Loose Cannon. We go to get food, and I look at her, I go, what are we doing this for? Why are we bringing all this food back? So <laughs> So we text Kelly. We're like, come here. So now Kelly's got to bring all of the popcorn. Do you remember she had yeah, popcorn, she had all of our snacks, cookies, <laughs> drinks. Like she had literally, she's she's like looks like the guy in the um, at the ball game with all the <laughs> all the snacks. <laughs> she's like trying to carry. I think she had some stuff somewhere. Like I mean, it was crazy. Anyway, she gets there and we order. We ended up eating at um, uh, the uh, I was gonna say the wake, but it's not. Oh my gosh, the dock house. Uh, we ended up eating there inside because it was so hot. We didn't go outside. That place was good, too. It was good, yeah. right? I mean, what everywhere was good. Chicken. It was a chicken. Yeah, the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of the name of it, but. Yeah. I think I just had hummus, beet hummus. Um, yeah, that was good, too. Oh, so good. Mm. And then Kelly. I don't know what Kelly had. But yeah, so we ate there. And then, oh, the, then the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> really couldn't tell you what happened after that because there was a lot of drinks had. <laughs> Although, funny, strange thing that happened. Was I ordered this guy? Remember the guy was mad at us, the waiter. Yes. So we're on board. So we're oh there, God, yes. and, and we were like, 
So in the Dock House, if you've never eaten there, um, they have the the menus and there's a little flag that you tip up. And that's how they know to come to your table when you're ready to order. They don't just walk over. I mean, they will just walk over, but it's very rare that they just walk over and, and ask you if you want help. So you tip up the, the um, flag. Well, we had three of them around us. So I was like, and no one was coming over. And so I go, well, let's hit all three of them. So we hit all three of them to put them up because there was, the we had like five of us. How many are yeah, there's five of us. Right? Yeah. They count that right. There's five of us. So, I mean, we had a couple tables. And so the guy comes over and he goes, you don't need to put up all the flags. And we were like, <laughs> okay, we're just kidding. We're hoping you would notice. <laughs> Mind yeah. you, Adele asked for a double and he came out with two drinks. He did it. it was, same server. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was not good. She asked for a double and he's like, here's your two drinks. And then not only did she get a double... I asked for lemon drop martinis and I ended up with lemon drop shots. And I was like, ew, what is this? As I'm drinking it, I'm like, this is not like. So I go and I take it back to the bar at the dock house. Not, I didn't go to the dock. And so it's Luis, Luisa. She's great. I love her. And I'm standing there waiting for her. She's the only one at the dock house, which I thought was very strange for an onboard, for an um, onboarding day, like, you know, getting embarking day. And I was like, what the heck? There's only one of you here. But anyways, Louisa, she's like, hey, how, what can I do to help you? And I was like, yeah, so these don't taste right. And she was like, she looks at me and she was like, I was like, yeah, I'm not drunk. I promise you they don't taste right. <laughs> and so she she was kind of amazed. I go, they were supposed to be lemon drop martinis. I go, but I honestly think they're lemon drop shots, which someone probably is going to say to me, whether they're exactly the same thing. They're not that either that or they just made them completely different. I have no idea because it was disgusting. <laughs> so what she handed me back was so much better and I was like oh good well she left the other two there and I think she thought I'd just be like well I'll drink those two and I was like they were that bad yeah. I'm not drinking <laughs> them so um I ended up taking the drinks and going but what she did say to me really strange um <clears throat> really strange tip was that any drinks that were ordered in the dock house from a waitress were coming from the dock and any drinks that were ordered at the bar were coming from her, mm-hmm. which is a weird thing. So our drinks that weren't right came from the dock. The one that I returned back to her, obviously, came from the dock and not her. So she didn't know that, obviously. Or maybe she did because she probably was like, I didn't make this in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And so she probably realized that. But anyway, so she made him right. So strange tip. I don't know if that's even a tip, but just gives you an idea <laughs> that how. You the- know where your drink's coming from. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> It's not the bartender. It's, don't yell at Louisa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it wasn't her fault. She made terrible drinks. Because so. <laughs> she didn't make them. Um, so anyways, after that, the rest is history. Sail away party. Super fun, right? Yes, but it was indoors. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's right. Oh, my God. Thanks for reminding me that. Because you know what's funny? As I said that to you, sail away party. And I was like this. And I go, why didn't I recall that at all? Did I drink that much? Now I know why. Because I'm yeah. picturing outside at the pool. And she did not get outside of the pool. You got... We got inside at yeah. the roundabout. So sail away party was, it was raining all day that day on and off. I shouldn't say, but it was all day, but it was mm-hmm. on and off. It wasn't like a downpour or anything for like hours straight. But by the time we went to sail away, it was beautiful and sunny. And I had seen that actually on the app that that was going to happen. So I thought hopefully they'd make the right decision. And, um, put the sail away party upstairs where it's supposed to be. And they, sure enough, they did not. So we got stuck. In the roundabout, well, she got stuck in the roundabout, which I feel bad. And then we ended up walking outside. Yeah, we made our way outside. Yeah, to just watch. <laughs> and everyone else was outside. Nobody was in the roundabout. Yeah. Because, what the heck? No one wanted to be. It was beautiful outside. So it was honestly pointless that they didn't do it upstairs. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't yeah. know what the purpose of that was. And honestly, they had no one in the roundabout because it was so nice out that everyone went outside to watch Sail Away. Mm-hmm. So, and it was a cool spot to see it from where we were. And Yeah. Um, but it just wasn't the same. But we were already... Feeling no pain, so we didn't care. <laughs> so it was like, yay, sail away on deck seven. It's great. Watch us turn in a circle. It's freaking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's finally like, I'm sick. This is the first time I'm on a cruise. I'm drunk and I'm going in a circle. <laughs> no, you? I was a little worried when we started, but then I didn't even know we were moving. So I was like, okay, I'm fine. But oh, yeah. Good. I'm glad <laughs> I gave you alcohol, though, to calm that down because maybe I would have seen the real Ariana. She would have been like, oh, God, we're moving. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then I would have known that we were not right for each other at all in any way, shape, or form because we both can't be up here. It can only be me that's up here. Someone else needs to go, okay, it's fine, it's fine, calm down, you're crazy. I'm just kidding. Oh, we can just feed off of each other then. I can just say, I'll calm you down inside, you can calm me down, it's good, we're yeah. going to be good. Yeah. 
Um, but anyway, so I'm glad that it turned out to be okay. But yeah, it was, I mean, the sailing was, it was great. Um, it was. Then the next day was sea day and we took you to my favorite, or mine and Kelly's, not just mine, uh, our favorite game. What did you think of Lotteria? Like, okay, so first of all, because we've talked about it, we might have scared her just a tiny, <laughs> tiny bit. So, but what did you think about it? So I was not expecting that when you win, oh. you have to go up and yeah. kind of earn your prize. Mm. Yeah, I did not know that until we got there. So, so <laughs> but it was, was so fun. Win, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Along with everybody else. <laughs> yes, but then once you get, I mean, once you get a few shots, you're oh, like, yeah. oh, I'm once ready to go up there. <laughs> once you're one round in she says a few you're one round in you're like oh this is great i got this i'm gonna whoop it up yep. like the best of them when i win that liquid confidence yeah seriously <laughs> super fun though we have ended up meeting that really nice girl um, yeah who ended up becoming a really good friend of ours oh um, she was hilarious she was funny <laughs> yeah she was hilarious kelsey kelsey if you ever watch this kelsey pretty funny yeah um but it was fun and i like how they switched it up you know how you won for each round yeah. they changed that yeah so it was fun. And it, and it was different from, you know, it was like millennial yeah. lottery or whatever. Oh, so he had funny, funny jokes. Yeah. Jokes were hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I could, well, the things that come to mind that I could give you an idea of what they are probably shouldn't be said. <laughs> yeah. So I'll leave those out. You got to play it yourself. Go to lottery. Yes. It's usually sure. on C day. It's usually about one o'clock and it changes. It varies via ship, different or different ships and whatnot. And, um, I would say that one o'clock is usually the time, but I think, didn't we go at like two? Yeah. Two fifteen. It was a little later. So keep an eye on it. time. Yeah. Yeah. And it only holds like 30 people. So it does sell out. Although ours didn't, strangely enough, which I was surprised about that. Um, so we did that on C day. We also ate it. Um, well, we'll talk about food. We'll give it a whole thing. Um, and then what else? How was Scarlet night? Scarlet night was probably my favorite night that we was went it? out. Yeah. I just loved being in the pool. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a vibe. Did you really yeah. want to jump in? So Kelly had this whole thing <laughs> that she was going to make her jump in. And I kept going, no, I'm not jumping in. I don't know what was wrong with me that night. I maybe did not have enough alcohol because we've been drinking all day. Yeah. That I was like, no, I'm not jumping in. Well, we get it out of my head. Listen, I can be persuaded to do any, pretty much anything. <laughs> so at this point, I was like, yeah, I'll jump in. If these two want to jump in, I'm in. Um, well, we step in the pool and I look at them. And I was like, I am not jumping in. I don't know why it was so cold. I thought it was cold, but not the air. The air was warm, but the pool I felt like was a little chilly. Yeah, for, for something that had been sitting out in heat for that's true hours long. I was like, what you know, days or whatever. I was like, wow. But did you think it was cold or am I just crazy? I mean, all my feet was in. So after dancing, I mean, oh. I was good. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you got used to it. But I did like as soon as I stepped in, I was like, oh, I felt it warmer than that. So that's why I was really surprised that it was as cold as it was. And I was like, oh, we're jumping in this. But then no one. <laughs> so then apparently the reason why we didn't jump in, because had I been in charge, we would have just jumped in. If I was ready to go, we would have jumped in. But these two were like, nobody's jumping in. And yeah, I thought, so who weird. cares no one's jumping in? If you guys want to jump in, let's jump in. But I didn't say that because I was like, I really don't want to jump in. You have to really persuade me, but I'm going to go if you go. <laughs> I'm like this. I'll go if you go. <laughs> I'll do it if you do it. Um. But yeah, so I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. It's yeah, it my favorite night. night. PJ party, too, though, too. I forgot about PJ party. What do you think about PJ party? That Which was, was better, fun too. Scarlet or PJ? I liked Scarlet. I feel like I wasn't as hot. Maybe it was just the night. I don't know. The PJ party, I just remember I was like sweating. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so hot that yeah. day. I agree. And then we stood underneath the thing. So we really need to remember that. I don't know why I forget it every time. Probably because the DJ is right there. The Under the roof. There. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a roof overhang that hangs over and then it's all open out everywhere else. Well, the air blows through there, of course, because it's open and we're under the stupid roof hang because that's where the music is and that's where the lights are and that's where everyone's dancing. They all dance in this one little spot. So that's where we were. But honestly, we really shouldn't do that because it's (laughs) hot under there. There is no movement of air. No. So we should really remember that and go outside. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways, but I'm glad. I love PJ Party. It's like one of my favorite parties. Yeah. It's chill. It's fun. The music's good. It's it's a good time. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you love Scarlet Night. Uh, we went to Key West. We did something super fun. Uh, we rented a yacht, which was amazing. Um, it was a last minute thing that we just, I don't even know how we got on, how that ended up happening. I have to be honest. Was- I don't remember. I think just <laughs> wild hair where I was like, I don't want to rent a yacht. Yep. Everyone was like, yeah, we're in. I was like, okay, here we go. So uh, we rented a yacht and we were on there for four hours. And oh, my God, it's my favorite thing. So if you ever 
don't know what to do in Key West. You want to be on another boat. You know, it's funny. I've had clients say to me, well, why would I want to leave a boat and get on another boat? Because it's awesome. Yeah. Like, And you're in the water. Yeah, it's your yeah. own boat. Like, well, not your own, but you know what I mean? It's a private boat. There's nobody else on it. It's amazing. They're feeding you. They're yeah. bringing you drinks. Like, I mean, you're like royalty at that point. Like, it's amazing. So they put out all the lily pads, all the water, thi- all the water toys and stuff. We had the best time chilling, although I worked for an hour during the whole thing. I missed a whole hour of our four hours. It was sad. <laughs> but um, I will say that. It's one of my favorite things to do in Key West, and I'm glad you got to experience it because, holy crap, it's so much fun. It was. Oh, it was Super so relaxing. relaxing. I come out, and all of them are spread out <laughs> on the things. I'm like, well, at least you guys are having fun after my meeting. I was like, I'm so glad. Uh, no, okay, I'm glad, though. But no, it was cool. And so they were like, they were like, sit down, sit down. You haven't been out here. Blah, yeah. blah, blah. So I sit down for like a second, and the sun is like beating on me. I'm like sweating. I'm like, oh, my God, I got to get in with you guys. But then all the stories that I heard were hilarious of them getting on the water, uh, out in the water and stuff. So I'm really <laughs> sad to have missed that. I have to be honest. <laughs> that part I'm really sad I missed. Yes. Uh, of missing everyone getting on the water uh, and stuff. So and floating away. Yeah, yeah, floating away. Oh, so funny. It is funny. So we did that. Then we bar hopped. Yes. Um, key lime pie shots. They were oh, yeah. really good. Yes. The key lime pie did not disappoint. Good. Yeah. So definitely if you're in Key West, try the key lime pie. Yep and yeah yeah all right we're leaving the other part out it's fine we'll leave it out we did play darts <laughs> we did play darts which is super fun um and then um yeah then we got pack on board super fun i love qs my favorite people get crazy over it because they're like it's just qs it's just america it's just america and i'm like yeah but it's great i love that city i just think it's a great city it's a different vibe <clears throat> yeah yeah i've been telling virgin forever to stay later but they but it's key west that actually won't let him stay later according to virgin oh wow yeah there's like a like a get out sort of uh <laughs> rule they're like cruise ships yeah to here at a certain time so apparently that's what it is that's what virgin tells me and honestly i i, I believe it only because i've never looked it up but i believe it because uh virgin tends to stay later and um in other ports so stay later than most cruise ships so uh i would assume they'd do the same there if they could yeah so yeah sadly because I think it would be a fun, because uh, we leave early. We leave at 4.30. Like, we had to be back on board at 4.30. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, what else? We did Bimini. Yeah. Which is super fun. The water was yeah. so blue, so clear. Yeah, the and, water's amazing yeah. on that. Yeah. I love Bimini for that reason, that it's uh, super clear. You can see everything. It's and like then we pool. had that moment. Yes. <laughs> so it is so clear it is that so you can clear. see in the distance what's in the water yep so yeah so these two have their back to the rest of the ocean my back's to the beach so we're kind of standing like this right my back's to the beach their back's to the rest of the ocean and i'm kind of looking over kelly's shoulder and i was like huh that black thing wasn't there before <laughs> And, and you could see everything like i said and i'm like i would have noticed that and wondered what it was a long time ago and i'm like well it's moving well, it could move maybe we're moving and then i then finally i go you guys oh and i see all these people start just running back to the beach and i was like okay they see it too it's moving and then i'm like you guys and so they turn around they're like what is that now we don't we don't know what it was but we're assuming that it was a stingray a mm-hmm. gigantic stingray i mean like Huge. hold my both of my arms out gigantic stingray and the thing was black and it was very um close to the surface so obviously if it was a shark or something we'd be able to see its fin at that mm-hmm. point because it was so close to the surface but and it moved kind of funny and the way that the the waves were at that point like you couldn't make out what it was but it had to have been just by the shape of it yeah um but the thing was massive cleared the beach oh yeah we watched it this one it forgot was, to it, film i was like why are you not filming these people running back to the beach i'm dying i was staring at it because i was watching it like slowly approach yeah, because, the group of people yeah and we weren't sure if it was gonna you know double back we didn't know what was gonna happen it was gonna like turn and look in its rear view mirror and be like i'm going back over here like yeah. we were all prepared i had one foot behind me i was really prepared for that i was like am i going do i have to make a run for it no so it just it kept doing its same pattern that way. Yeah. So yeah, but it was crazy. The thing was enormous. Mm-hmm. And then we were and then we were fearful for everyone down the rest of the beach because there was a guy that was by himself snorkeling pretty far out in its path, and you see him pick his head up and he's like and he kind of backs up like okay and then the thing just keeps going. Yeah. So it had to have been a stingray. But anyways, when we got back on board, um, uh, we were in Richard's rooftop and um, 
they said to us that they saw a bunch of stingray, or maybe not a bunch, but at least a big, a very they big stingray. And there. I was like, I think that's yeah. the same stingray we saw swim by us. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I think it was Roxanne was telling us that uh, um, they usually see sharks and stuff. I was like, yeah, you can keep them here. Maybe they're eating stuff off the bottom of the ship. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The things that you hit like a windshield on the way by. I really don't know. They're hitting the carcasses off the bottom of the ship. You can hang on to them. Yep. Keep them in this area. Yep. Not by us. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway uh so yeah so i'm glad bimini was cool but we didn't really do much we just kind of hung out in the rockstar area we ate i don't we didn't even go to the pool no which but is i funny. saw it we yeah <laughs> we didn't see it she didn't see the full party we didn't even go which is so unusual for us we just chilled i don't know why we didn't do that it's very strange for us <laughs> um we had a good time though mm-hmm. it was a good time next time you'll go to the pool i have no doubt she'll be in the pool it's happening <laughs> it's coming at some point but um well yeah so it was a, it was a good cruise any um final thoughts anything that like since a first time sailor you didn't realize that maybe another first time sailor might want to know oh gosh i feel like i had this in my head and i can't think of it at the moment oh nice. well the only thing that was i guess surprising be- being a first time sailor was walking out and realizing that you're not on land i know that sounds weird no, but you that's people's biggest fear though yeah yeah but it didn't it didn't scare me yeah 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 but it was just more like oh well, like because you feel like you're at a resort or something yeah and then you walk because it's not moving yeah. yeah you had like the best i'm telling you she had like the best like it was the flattest cruise on the planet and so i could see why you'd be like oh wait i am in the middle of the ocean this is all water around me but that's people's biggest fear that they're like <gasps> they're gonna realize oh my gosh i'm in the middle of the ocean what's underneath me like they have all those you know fears and stuff which i get yeah, yeah. i loved that there were so many activities i mean we went to most of the shows but yeah. even outside of that i mean you would walk into an activity <laughs> like you'd walk into board yeah. games or trivia or whatever oh my gosh we played doing. a board game too i forgot about that for yeah the first time ever i played a board game on virgin so that was nice. There, you can't trouble. get bored, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they keep I you busy. I say that, too. When people are like, Virgin's boring, I'm like, how? how yeah, no. Saying? There's there's things to do everywhere. You, I mean, you walk into an activity. Yeah. <laughs> you trip over an activity. I mean, there's like, a, yeah, <laughs> seriously. There's like a fr- we didn't even take her to the arcade, like the free arcade. Like, I'm like, when someone says it's boring, I'm like, how? There's a free arcade. If you're bored, go to the arcade. Yeah. If you're bored, go lay in the thing and watch a movie. Like <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't understand. There's, there's pickleball. <laughs> there's a basketball court. Like I mean, there's a freaking gigantic uh, chessboard upstairs. I mean, there's a regular chessboard as well in the game area, but there's a gigantic chessboard. Yeah. So I don't know. To me, it's funny when they say they're bored. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. I don't uh, get misbehave it. though great show right misbehave was my favorite yeah Yeah. one more thing i was gonna end it and then i realized we didn't talk about food food what was your favorite restaurant i mean we didn't go to all of them we went to just so just so you know we went to uh gun bay pink agave evie and the wake evie extra virgin right yeah extra virgin and pink agave were top two for me yeah yeah it's hard to pick between those i know i totally understand (laughs) top two as well for me obviously gun bay has been making its way (laughs) into my uh top ones just because i love it i love it it was really good i can't see that (laughs) bimini bop no Mm -mm. bimby (laughs) yep got nothing but that's what it is. Order that. It's good. Yeah. Uh, so I really enjoy, I enjoy gum bay. And then um, now the test kitchen, we didn't go to test kitchen because they have the new menu. So we're going to test kitchen this week with the new menu. So I'm excited about that. Even though I don't like test kitchen, I'm still trying it. <laughs> it's so great. Um, so yeah. So anyways, well, that's good. I'm glad. Any like favorite food dishes off the top of your head that you're like, yep, got to have that again. Can't wait to go back. Craving it. Loving it honestly from the pink agave that the corn oh see corn get the corn the uh the was it the pork or the sausage oh the pork was so oh no you love the chorizo with the potatoes yes yes and then what did you say to mix in there the corn yes or something yes so she made up her own dish so i was telling her that we have a saying that's called get the corn we say it all the time it's new to her obviously uh not new to everyone that follows us anytime you see corn in the menu just get it because it's that good so then this one goes so I, i film her and i go so we have a saying that's called get the corn. And she goes, oh, yeah, get the corn, but add it with the chorizo. Yep. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Level up. <laughs> level it up with the chorizo. <laughs> she made a whole new menu. Yep. So, yeah. No, I totally understand that because the chorizo is really good. That's what kind of sticks in my head when I think of food. Yeah. <laughs> I know it is good. It's funny. I order it every time, but I only have a couple of them usually. But it's good. That's so the good. potatoes with the chorizo. 
so yeah. good. Well, we did it. You did it. Yes. You're no longer a virgin virgin. No. I'm sure you'll be counting them soon like the rest of us. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'm glad that we could uh, chat about it as a yeah. first time solo although let's be honest she didn't enjoy anything solo right did you do you didn't end up doing anything solo no nope. yeah <laughs> there was a time honestly <laughs> way to monopolize that just a tiny bit maybe next time she'll have some time <laughs> we had so much to do though oh yeah. my gosh because here's the thing i mean obviously i wanted to be able to have the experience that we talk about always so that was the thing that like i was like all right we're going to do this we're going to do this we're going to do this and then there's things we didn't end up doing and i don't remember why why didn't we end up doing why? Because we like talked about doing the, um, the painting, boozy bevy paintings. Why didn't we end up doing that? Oh, something else probably came up. Yeah, I can't remember why. Or we maybe had... it was a dining reservation or something. Yeah. Oh, and we saw. Oh my gosh, I realized we saw a comedian. He was so good. Right? Yeah, the comedian oh was good. And we stood through the whole thing. So you know, if you're if we stood through the whole thing and all of our heels, all of us were in heels, then he was good. Because <laughs> I think we were all dying by the end of that. And I think that's when we even turned to each other because it was we fancy night. We were like, good. Good, good. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. Because <laughs> everybody's feet hurt at that point. We were like, we're done. It was and full in there, though. Yeah, All the seats full. were taken. Yeah. And there were people standing. Yeah, it was definitely. That was us. We were the standers. But yep. he was good. So hopefully he's still there. Yeah, I love comedians. Me too. Oh, my gosh. I love a good comedian. Anyways, all right. So we're going to leave. Um, that was uh, your fir- uh, Ariana's first virgin, 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 virgin cruise. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> thank you again for joining me. Obviously, yes. I put her on the spot. Oh, I was like, "You're gonna amazing. do this tomorrow." She was like, "Wait, what?" I was like, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna do it tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. We, we I'm like, to- how do I prepare? Yeah, she's <laughs> like, "What questions what are, are you gonna ask?" What questions are you gonna ask me? She did say that. I go, "No, nah, we're just gonna talk about it." <laughs> we're just gonna go with hard? it. Was it that no, hard? No, it really wasn't. Okay, good. <laughs> I tell that to everybody though. Everyone that freaks out when I'm like, "Do you want to be on the podcast?" They're like. <gasps> I don't know. And I'm like, it's really not that hard. We're really just going to chat. Like, yeah. And let's be honest. I do most of the talking anyways, because I can't shut up. So there you have it. Then you're good. You can just sit there silently like this. I liked it. Yes, it was great. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, again, thank you for joining me. Um, if you ever hear me talk to her off camera, this is who it is. Uh, we got to get her a name, though. Um, a funny pseudo name, obviously. Yes. And uh, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. So again uh we'll leave you with our favorite phrases you know it you float our boat yes that's yes. right all right so we're gonna say it together ready one two three you, you float, float our, our boat. boat all right we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.